Gummy bears, Red Hots, and Butterscotch candies. That's the ultimate post-workout that's gonna help you recover more than anything. All right, I can't even hold a straight face when I do that. I have some strategies when it comes down to the types of carbohydrates you wanna have after a workout. Low carb or not, these work. And there's a strategy behind it, which I've talked about before. You're going to have an arsenal of tools that you can pull from so that you know what to eat after a workout. Let's break it down. Please do hit that red subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner and then hit that little bell icon to turn on notifications. And then after this video, check out Natural Heaven Pasta. These guys are awesome. It is a hearts of palm based pasta. One ingredient, super low carb friendly, very clean, very low calorie, awesome alternative to pasta that just blows spaghetti squash out of the water. So make sure you check them out. Special link, special code down below because they're such a big supporter of this channel. They wanna be able to extend everything out to the people that watch this channel. Let's go ahead and let's break this down. I'm all about combining a small amount of glucose with a small amount of fructose so that we activate both pathways for muscle recovery. What I mean by that is getting the carbohydrates into the muscle via two different pathways. I'm gonna spare you a lot of the scientific details here, but basically a little bit of glucose takes one route into the muscle, a little bit of fructose takes another route into the liver, which subsequently allows the muscle to absorb more carbohydrates right after a workout. This is tremendous if you're doing a low carb diet and you don't wanna have a bunch of carbs, but you wanna have just enough to recover from a workout. I change this up a lot, but right now, these are my three go-to combinations. The first one is going to be baked red potatoes, take the skin off, and add a tablespoon of, believe this or not, either honey, good quality honey, or organic agave. I normally just rain on agave's parade because agave is essentially concentrated fructose. I don't like fructose when it's not in this specific process. Okay, we're trying to get a little bit of fructose here. So what I would usually say is microwave or cook or however you want to do it, a red potato, peel the skin off because we don't want the fiber. But here's what's wild. Here's what's happening if you want to know the scientific details. When you heat a starch, it expands the glucose molecules out of the starch chain into individual glucose molecules. So you get a quick, fast insulin spike. So you don't need as many carbohydrates to elicit the same effect. Okay, then you have a little bit of agave or a little bit of honey on it. Not only do you get actually an antioxidant effect, which has a whole different subset of positive effects, but it tastes pretty good too. So again, 15, 20 grams of carbohydrates coming from the potato, another 10 maybe or so coming from the fructose, and then add a little bit of salt. Complicated process, has to do with s glut one pathways. Don't worry about it. Okay, the second one that I want you to try, rice cakes with berries on them or Better yet, a good quality jam, if you could find one that doesn't have sugar and isn't loaded with preservatives, because it's very important after a workout that you eat clean. Rice cakes are in the same kind of vein as the potatoes as far as the starch molecules. Starch molecules are bound together, they inject air, and those starch molecules break into individual glucose molecules, meaning they absorb faster because there's more surface area surrounding each glucose molecule. Pretty cool little hack right there. But the caveat is this, you're consuming a grain, which I know, call me Mr. Demonized Foods, but I'm not a big fan of grains. They're largely pretty inflammatory, at least in my book, and not exactly what I would want right after a workout. So, A, organic, so you're not getting a bunch of at least glycosates and all that other stuff, but at least getting something a little bit seemingly cleaner. The reason I want the fruit in there is the fructose, of course, but something like a blueberry jam or blueberries, and if you can just peel off the skin and be kind of a weirdo doing that, that's even better, because then you get what's called the azaxanthin. okay? That is a pigment that has powerful antioxidant effects that can actually help neutralize some of the free radicals that were coming around through your workout. Workouts create stress in your body. Why not combat it a little bit? So anyway, again, you're looking like two rice cakes with a little bit of blueberry jam that does not have sugar added to it. Okay, the next one is one that I discovered by mistake. Okay, I was doing a ketogenic diet a long time ago and Amber, my wife, was making a really cool dish and we, for some reason, we put parsnips in it, right? And we had parsnips in this dish and the next day I was out of ketosis and I'm like, what the heck? I like, consumed a really healthy veggie dish with, and then I look up parsnips and I find out that parsnips are a very high glycemic root, okay? So high that it's practically like a 95 to 97 on the glycemic index scale, okay? It's pretty high. When you cook it, it gets even more intense, but it also has some fructose in it already. 
but parsnips taste delicious and therefore you get a nice little delicious way to spike your insulin after a workout along with your protein shake. But what do you add to it? One to two tablespoons of coconut sugar. Coconut sugar is again, partially glucose, partially fructose. So it's actually a great little ratio in and of itself, but because it's coconut sugar, you at least have some of the flavonoids that come with it. So it means you're not just like having refined table sugar. So I use a couple tablespoons of that, cook it over with a parsnip that I steam or anything like that, make like a sweet parsnip dish. I usually make that ahead of time. I don't know, that's a perfect thing. So again, potatoes with agave or honey. Then we have rice cakes with some blueberries or blueberry jam. And then we have sneaky, sneaky, high glycemic parsnips along with some coconut sugar. Okay, add a pinch of salt to each one of these so that you activate that s glute pathway. And there you go, simple little post-workout where you don't need to eat 100 grams of carbs. See you tomorrow.